am Norma Hurd. I own Two Live Music with my family. It'll be 30 years in September. It was September 1st, 1991. And um, it's so silly. Uh, Victor and I, our hobby was going to music stores. And uh, we actually met in high school. And when we would go on a date, we would go to local music stores. We went from stores in Akron and we actually would drive to Cleveland too. So we talked about our strong points when we decided to open a business and what we loved was music, music and movies. He was a huge music buff. Um, I was music and movies. So it just made sense. We did something we knew we knew about. Um, in the 90s when we started, it was pretty easy. All you had to do was have the right music. Uh, format uh, was going from LP cassette to uh, CD but you had customers that were buying a little bit of everything and all you needed was to have the right music. We were urban oriented, we knew what was selling, we knew what was coming, but once we hit the 2000s, things changed. Um, it became more of a digital age. Uh, you've got customers walking around with a computer in their hand, AKA that phone. A lot of them have streaming services. So that's when we had to realize we had to separate ourselves from our, our single-minded passion and expand and add more. What if you came in and didn't want a CD, but you saw I had a lottery sign out front. So you came play the lottery. Then you're like, oh, I didn't know you had wine. Yeah, we do. Grab a bottle of wine and like, oh, my husband would love that baseball cap. So that, that was our thinking to get people in the door. Even if it wasn't for music, if I could get a sale out of you for something else I had in my store, every penny counts towards the bottom line. A lot of it was blessings from the Lord, hard work, that's another huge chunk, um, getting our name out there in the community. And like I said, we, we've been around for a long time, thank God. But Bounce really helped us, especially during the COVID, um, because Victor and I had been independent and basically self-sufficient, we thought. For so long, you, you become comfortable and a little complacent. And then once the COVID hit, we realized, oh, we need some help. <laughs> we need some serious help. So thank God through um, the people at Bounce, uh, actually one of our former employees, um, Ace Epps, or should I say his proper name, Aron, uh, um, he came to us after we reopened because we've been closed for actually two months during the, uh, sh the massive shutdown. And he was like, what do you need? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, I'm at Bounce. I can help, that's my job, what do you need? And we were like, um, oh my God, help us please. <laughs> so A said, well, first of all, he said, are you caught up on all your bills? We're like, no, we haven't been able to pay the mortgage on the building, uh, we had no income. So Ace was like, all right, he said, there's a grant coming up. He said, I'm gonna help you guys get in touch with the right people. Uh, I'll help you um, get an application in your hand. Um, he said, we'll cross our fingers and say a prayer and see what happens. And lo and behold, through his guidance and help, we were actually awarded one of the grants and caught up on a mortgage. Yay! I would explain it to them by telling them that it's 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 for us, for the little guys. And when I say us, I'm not I don't mean just minority businesses. They're there for everybody. Um, you know, big corporations have lawyers and they have marketing people and planning people and, and HR and all this stuff. And Bounce is there to help you handle your three employees, to point you in the right direction to a payroll service, to tell you, well, yeah, you can't tell people that work for you, they can't do such and such. Balance is there to educate and to basically hold your hand and guide you in the right direction. So hopefully one day you can take off and handle it on your own, but you always know they're there in the background if you need them.